one of these villages like us. Travelling forwards through time. The other one's going backwards. Can you tell which is which? How about now? Well, it's been five months, but the hammers are back. It's time for a review of Christopher Nolan's new spy thriller, Tenet, starring John David Washington. Uh, this is a sprawling story about a uh, spy who gets uh, recruited by a shadowy agency to take down a Russian supervillain, played by Kenneth Branagh. The movie also stars Robert Pattinson. Nobody could pull this off except Christopher Nolan and his crew, the man behind the Dark Knight trilogy, Inception, Memento. I saw this film described as Inception on steroids on Twitter, and that's pretty... Accurate. Astounding action, massive set pieces, a lot of exotic international locations. It looks beautiful when it comes to the cinematography, the music, so impeccably crafted, and some great performances. There's even some moments of humor in this one, uh, so it's not as joyless as Inception. But I did have some serious issues with this film. The plot at times is incomprehensible because they deal with this whole time inversion thing. They don't want to call it time travel, it's time inversion. So it's high concept stuff. You might need to brush up on your physics before that. The audio mix is a little strange and it also depends on which theater you're seeing it in so the dialogue is hard to hear at times and there's a bit of unintentional humor in some moments like at one point the characters are talking about their latest uh, scheme or plot and they're like on a bus talking really loudly in front of normal citizens but you got to see it on the biggest screen possible locally it's playing at the uh, Riverport IMAX and 70 millimeter at the Park Theater but good luck trying to figure out what's going on for most of it and it is two and a half hours long but my verdict three out of five Oh, how sweet the sound of hammers. They are back. Also in theaters, The New Mutants. This is sort of the end of an era for the X-Men franchise. You see Maisie Williams there from Game of Thrones. Also stars Anya Taylor-Joy, Charlie Heaton. And a group of teens with superpowers are stuck in this secret facility. This was plagued by production problems. The first trailer came out in 2017. It's been a while, but you can see it now in theaters. Also in theaters and on demand, Gnarly Dudes, Bill and Ted 3. Yes, Bill and Ted face the music. Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves reunite. The first one was in 1989, and they have 78 minutes to write the perfect song and save the universe. Once again, you can catch that in theaters, or if you're not comfortable with that, check it out at home. And also, a brand new documentary on Netflix, Rising Phoenix. This is inspirational and uplifting, and we all need a little bit of that right now. Elite athletes and insiders reflect on the Paralympic Games and examine how they impact a global understanding of disability, diversity, and excellence. Woo, there you have it. Stuff in the theater, stuff at home. You're all up to speed. We'll be back with more BT right after this.